hi guys welcome back to my channel so normally on my channel I usually do books about coloring books lately but in the last couple of months I haven't been really collecting coloring books I've actually been collecting a whole different series of books now the series of books that I'm talking about these are actually reading books and guys when it comes to me I love to read I love to read about mythical things legendary things monsters creatures from the dark I love anything that to do with unicorns love to read books you know, unicorns pegasus dragons I love these books and they're some of my favorite and when I was growing up I used to watch TV and these commercials used to come out about these specific set of books and they were actually these books were actually made by the time life series Time Life books were some had some of the most incredible books out at the time. And one set of books in particular that they had was these. This is Enchanted World. The Enchanted World. By the, the, the Time Life series Enchanted World. This book basically when it first came out was about $200 guys and there were like 20 in the set and so when I was younger I always loved this book and I always wanted the book so when I was going to school in my high school which was in Tyrone Georgia I they actually had a set of these books they actually had the sets and I ended up getting my hands on the sets almost every day and I just read them and it was amazing and I decided that I wanted to own these books so in the last couple of months, I've been sort of kind of buying and purchasing these books. And if you're wondering, this one right here cost me like one cent. And one cent plus shipping, which is like four dollars. So I'm going to say about four bucks for this one. So, but it's pretty much the same on every place. And it's, a, it's an awesome book because you get these beautiful pictures. I love the, the print picture in the front. And this is the one that's called Magical Beast. There are 21 books in all, guys. They, they cover from all the way up from The Legend of Christmas to Camelot, uh, Myths and Legends. And there are all kinds, basically, when it comes to this book. Uh, ghosts, fairies, and elves. This one is called Night Creatures. It's one of my favorites. I love reading about this. It's like vampires, creatures that you probably don't even know about, and it's pretty cool. This one right here has like unicorns, kelpies, and other mythical creatures like the manacore, and it tells the legends of them. And some parts of the, some of the books actually tell stories, and it tells the stories as to where these legends came from. Uh, this one is called Fairies and Elves. And it tells you about fairies and stuff like that. And I think one of the fairy stories in this one is like one of my favorite about this fairy for some strange reason. She was a water fairy. And she did not trust anybody. And so she constantly tortured people by doing the water torture by dripping water on their head with her slip. People were getting mad, so they ended up talking to the king or something. And they asked him to do something. So he came up with an idea where. You could not just, he tried to catch this fairy so many times, but it did not work. This fairy was smarter than him. So he had to figure out a way, instead of trying to be, uh, trying to catch this fairy runs with his, with his, with brute strength, he came up with a way to outsmart the fairy. And it's kind of cool. If you ever guys get this book, and I promise you, the story is in here. I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end, but something very interesting happened because he figures out how to get the fairy. And it's cool. And then the next one is called Water Spirits. And basically you, in this book right here, it's like mermaids. Um, mermaids and other creatures. And basically any mermaids, nymphs, anything that you can find that has anything to do with water spirits. I think, I don't, I'm not sure if the Kelpie is in here or not. But I think the Kelpie is in the Magical Beast one. Because basically they separate them into different books. And the pictures in these books are amazing, guys. If you think the cover pictures are beautiful, you see nothing yet. 
And by the way, this book is practically new. This book has rarely been opened. I love the drawings in this book. It's amazing. Like, something like this. As you can see, oh, they are very beautiful. I think what they do is they actually got artists who paint like this to actually paint these pictures. And they may even use old paintings, too. As you can see, these are beautifully productive. And this is the story of the mermaid. And about the guy who saves her, and she gives him a she gives him a great gift. She gives him different gifts, but the only catch is he basically every couple of years or something like that. I, I forgot how many years she takes some of his family members each time. So that that's pretty interesting story. Like, and then some of the stories are like like this. But like I said, the, the books are very beautiful, very stunning artwork, and the stories are so cool. I love the stories of these books. I will be getting more of these books. Like, um, it tells the different types of sea gods and sea creatures, all the way up to the sea god that we know, uh, Poseidon. Uh, like the um, as as well as Odysseus, the story of Odysseus. If you ever heard of Odysseus, you know who I'm talking about. And they are many different stories in these books. And they're awesome. I love these books. I do have more to get. Like, there is even one called Witches and Wizards. I'm still waiting for that one to come. Ghosts. Oh, I love the one with ghosts in there. Because it tells the different ghost stories of the old past. Like, uh, the, the, like, um, like one of those places, like the Tower of London. It tells the story of ghosts that people have spotted in the Tower of London over the years, like the twins. and it, it, It's just beautiful. And I love the night creature one. It, it's kind of creepy. This is kind of creepy. And it basically, you get these, these very dark, very um, devilish images. I love the images in there, as you can see. And it's very creepy. And I love reading the books because of the stories that are inside of them. And, um... The unicorn one have your different creatures in there. And basically, what you get... I'm not going to give you guys a whole flip through. I love the little unicorn at the beginning. It's so cute. <laughs> uh, and you get, like, these different... Like, the Minotaur. You get the legend of the Minotaur. You even get, like, Egyptian deities. Like, Egyptian gods and stuff like that. Uh, you get the... I love the the... the, the the tapestries. And these, these, this book is very beautiful. I love the stories in it. I just love them. And you get like the different creatures like the centaur. And then you even get the story of Hercules. Because his... And you and, and you get the story that... Hercules... Remember, Hercules was trained by a centaur. I don't know the, the Disney version of Hercules... Why they changed the character in there to a goat or a pen, I have no idea. But in the real legend of Hercules, he was trained by a centaur. He was not trained by a pan, and which that's what that thing is that he had. He, he had with him. He was trained by a centaur. And I didn't understand why they changed it. And then it tells the story of what... And the ironic part about it is... He's trained by a centaur. And he's also killed by one. Yeah, he's killed by a centaur. It's it's weird. You Ironically, that's how he lost his life. A centaur. And then you, you get other centaurs. Like, actually, this is supposed to be the centaur that trained Hercules. Uh... He, he 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 was actually he actually was made a legend because he trained centaur because he trained Hercules and he was sent to the heavens as one of those constellations as you can see and it's very awesome and he was a strong centaur according to legend and it was sad that when he died and I remember watching the TV version of Hercules when he when his friend died and they made him a legend and like you can and then you then you get the pans. They come in with the pants. And this is the thing that I was telling you about. This is what the Disney cartoon said, train Hercules. But it, in the real story, it's a centaur that trained. And then you get, like, all kind of strange creatures in the book. And it's an amazing book. 
there's even as you go through the story, there's even the story of um of unicorns. And this is actually an old tapestry. I can't remember what museum it's in, but there's an old tap a bunch of tapestries like this. And they basically put them in a museum. But yeah, you get like different characters in these stories. And my last but not least book is one of my favorites. Dragons. I love this book. It's awesome. There's one story in here about a lady who gets kidnapped by a dr water dragon. And her job is to basically feed his baby. And rub this weird stuff in his eyes so he can have dragon sight. The problem is she ends up rubbing her eyes, one of her eyes, with this stuff. And it allows her to see this dragon invisible. I'm not going to tell you guys what happened. If you guys want to find out about it, just look up the Enchanted World. Look up the book Dragon. Find this book and get it. it. It's amazing. Like I said, the drawings in it is beautiful. As you can see, the dragons depicted in here are like old, but they're real. But they're, they're beautifully done. See, there's a dragon underneath there. If you actually look, there's a dragon underneath the ground. I don't know why there's a goat in the tree. I have no idea. I like those. And it tells of knights, valor, and stuff like that, and different types of dragons. But there are all kinds of stuff in these books. And they're, they're amazing. Like a dragon den. And there are all kinds of stories. I love the way it is. And you get to know these different types of dragons throughout history and throughout legends. So, guys... If you guys want this book, look on Amazon. Amazon do have them for a cheap price. You are going to have to pay shipping, however. So, I think if you're lucky enough and you find a cheap price, that means the shipping, hopefully the shipping will be like $3. So, you end up paying about $4 for them, and which I ended up paying $4 for each one of these books. So, basically, that is a good price. Because your normal price for them, if you try to get the whole set as one, will be about three to four hundred dollars if you want it if you want a lot of them at once go to Amazon go to eBay eBay have some people who are selling them for like like eight of them for like fifteen dollars sometimes eight of them about ten that's the best way to do it but if you try to get them and all of them at once they're gonna be expensive they're not gonna be cheap they're gonna be like a hundred Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars. Mint condition, <laughs> they're gonna be expensive. So, guys, these are great books. If you guys actually want to get them, and the books once again is are called the Enchanted World Time Life Edition, Enchanted World. They are beautiful books, and I love them. Okay, guys, this video is going on longer than it has to be, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time.